Hey guys, my name is That Quiet Kid, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about my CRTP experience. So, CRTP is Certified Red Team Professional Certification Exam, which is offered by Alter Security. So, this certification is actually uh, for people who want to improve their Active Directory knowledge or basically get started into Active Directory. So, the perspective from which they teach this course is assumed breach scenarios in which basically you are already inside the network and like you have normal domain user credentials and you have to escalate your privileges from a normal domain user to a domain admin or an enterprise admin so in this video i'm going to be talking about how was the course uh, how was the exam and what you should do for your exam and let's dive right into it so first of all i am going to give you an overview of this course so this is not a complete overview just to give you an idea regarding what types of attacks you will see in this lab and at the end of the video i will uh, show you their website and you can read everything from there regarding like the whole course content and i will include that link in the description as well so first of all you will be uh, doing performing enumeration using tools like power view bloodhound ad module and a lot more tools enumerate how many forests are in your you know target environment how many domains how many users how many systems how many group policies and things like that the the attack vectors that are covered are kerber hosting unconstrained delegation constrained delegation resource rbcd resource based constraint delegation adcs i think they cover adcs uh, i mean esc1 esc3 and esc6 i think they have removed esc6 in the new update but these are the two i think as of right now i think they teach only t uh, i think uh, only esc1 and esc3 works in the lab environment so two certificates template certificate templates SQL servers, DC sync attack, and a lot more. So these are the attack vectors they teach. They also teach persistent methods like how to perform persistence in the domain using silver ticket, golden ticket, diamond ticket, skeleton key, DSRM. DSRM is basically your local admin, uh, local admin, local administrator of your domain controller. Uh, they also teach trust abuse trust abuse is like i told you you have to become from a do normal domain user to a domain admin or an enterprise admin so let's say you have one forest you have a child domain and a parent domain so in a child and a parent there, there is basically a two like bi-directional trust so let's say you have gained domain admin privileges in the child domain and now you want to become enterprise admin in the like parent domain so if uh, it's a parent child relation you can abuse that trust using a lot of ways which they will teach you in the uh, course how to do that and you know escalate your privileges of using like by abusing trust they also teach you credential dumping techniques like uh, uh, credential dumping using uh, invoke mimicats i mean uh, mimicats powershell script uh, safety cats and like using those tools you will dump credentials lsas credentials lsas is basically a local subsystem authority i think something like this where let's say a user has a session on your system so if you dump the lsa you can get its clear text password SAM is basically the local hashes stored on your system. Vault credentials are basically, uh, I can give you an example. So let's say there is a scheduled task that is running with certain users credentials. So that users credentials can be stored in a vault. So in the Microsoft vault. So you can dump that as well. App locker and defender bypass. So defender bypass is like they have Microsoft defender. So they teach you how to you can bypass like Defender, you can bypass MZ and like how the, how you can uh, get your way around an app locker. So let's say you have an app locker and it only allows you to execute scripts in a certain folder. So how you read those app locker policies and bypass it. 
defender bypasses simply like uh, low try to first bypass mz and uh, script blocking and stuff like that and then you can uh, run it in memory or you can use port forwarding to run exes so these are uh, you know i won't get too much deep into what they teach in the course you can uh, see it on their website so basically a lot of this active directory stuff is taught in this course and my exam experience was uh, i would say good 24 hours exam you need to compromise five systems and one student vm so that one student vm is your initial access like i told you it's a it's an assumed breach scenario so you are basically already inside the network you need to first escalate your privileges like you are a normal user on your student vm you need to escalate your privileges to that of a local admin on that student vm then you need to compromise the five machines in your target environment so it took me 13 hours to complete it i got stuck multiple times everything this is an important point everything that came in the exam was already taught in the course so there is nothing like uh, there there won't be anything in the exam that wasn't taught in the course everything will be taught in the course that everything that will come in the exam will be will have been taught in the course so bloodhound i would say don't rely on bloodhound too much because during my exam it didn't give me anything like anything useful which i can use and like move forward so and it's not always accurate as well because i think uh when i was checking for something i don't remember the exact thing it was not giving me like the appropriate result and the connection to the box that they provide is also a bit slow the exam vm doesn't have internet so these are the few things uh, that i wanted to mention so this is my exam experience so suggestion for the exams i would say learn how to do an attack through multiple ways in the lab first so let's say you know one way of credential dumping try to learn other methods of how to do it this is like i would say very important that you need to learn because there will be times when you will be stuck during an exam and it will really help if you have tried to perform a say, one attack using different methods so like broaden your perspective or attack surface like not attack surface your perspective for the thing like attack vector broaden your perspective like i can do this using invoke meme cats i can do this using safety cats i can do this using this too like that try to find multiple ways to do one attack that will really help you in the exam if you do that so the exam is not tough it's tricky so i told you everything that comes in the exam was taught in the course but it's still it's a bit tricky so again if you have if you know multiple ways to do one attack that will really help you in the exam then i would say double check the output of a command so this is especially for me why i say that because during the exam i had to like recheck the output of commands multiple times because i missed something and that i would say try to recheck the output let's say you dumped something and you didn't notice it the first time so try to double check the output of any command you run to check if you have found something useful or not again remember to take breaks defender may give you a lot of issues so i what i would suggest is try to look for common folders which are excluded so there are certain folders uh, that are exclu uh, excluded from defender so let's say uh, what i'm trying to say here is let's say you try to upload a binary and as soon as you upload it defender catches it and removes it so there are certain folders which is excluded where defender won't search for so you can upload your binaries there so these common folders are mentioned in the course as well and you can simply google it as well and at the end of the day best of luck for your exam it's a really good exam and i'm sure you will pass it my opinion on the course and exam so overall 
the course is really good but it could include a lot more attacks like smb relay ipv6 lmnr poisoning web client workstation takeover more acls abuse etc so why do i say that uh, so in my previous organization i was performing assumed breach scenarios and i can tell you one thing that you will never compromise like it's a very rare chance that you will compromise and like organization through curb roasting like it's really rare that this will happen like you will perform curb roasting attack you will get that hash but cracking that would be really difficult so what i would say is in the majority of the assumed breach scenarios i did during my time in the previous organization i performed attacks like smb relays ipv6 dns takeover web client workstation takeover so these were the attack that i really did during my assumed breach scenario pen testing so that i would say they could have added this because like the course is from the perspective of a assumed breach scenario and for people who want to like do this so if you are doing assumed breach scenario then these attacks are like must be known for a red team so that i would recommend so again i would recommend this course however i would recommend this course who whoever wants to get started with assumed breach scenario so like if you have no knowledge of active directory it's this course is really good and even if you have like i already knew how to do assumed breach scenarios i have performed this multiple times and i still did learn a few things during this course the price is fair for the material they teach in the course there is a mistake uh okay so i think i added t at the end this is a spelling mistake okay so the price is fair for the material they teach in the course overall i would say that was a good experience for me lab and exam because defender actually gave me a lot of issues and i learned how to like uh you know use opsec uh, like using methods that you don't get caught but i would say in uh, a lot of the assumed breach scenarios you have crowd strike like edrs as well they are really powerful and i don't think majority of the methods will get caught but if an organization only has windows defender then you can easily bypass it so that's my opinion on the course overall the course is really good the experience for me was really good and these are just the things that i think i should have i should say regarding the course and exam so we can look at this side this is the, i will include this link in the description of this video so if you click on what uh will you learn you will see you will learn about active directory enumeration use scripts built in tools and active directory module that is that ad module that i mentioned to enumerate the target domain enumerate acls access control lists learn to find out interesting rights on acls local privilege escalation using power up and stuff like that abuse enterprise application to execute complex attack paths that involve bypassing antivirus and pivoting to different machines yes this is actually the antivirus bypass part of this course was really good i would say uh domain privilege escalation domain persistence and dominance cross trust attacks i told you about trust like if it's a child parent child relation that you can exploit it to escalate your privileges from a domain admin to an enterprise admin forest persistence and dominance uh defenses monitoring defenses and bypasses defenses and bypass uh deception power shell and these are the things that they will teach you this course and the uh, the price is here like i purchased this 30 days lab access and one certification attempt this is an on demand lab so what's the difference between an on demand lab and a boot camp in an on demand lab you will get all the recordings but in an uh, boot camp they will teach you uh, like uh, live classes by nikhil mittal so if you are a person who wants to like ask questions as well and has no knowledge of active directory 
so i would suggest you should go for boot camp which is only 50 dollars expensive than this i think it's for 300 dollars you get live classes and you can ask your doubts uh, through that boot camp but i already knew how to do uh, assume breach scenarios and i had a good understanding of active directory i actually have my own lab as well so that's why i bought the 30 day lab access which i think is more than enough to complete the course and uh, the reason for doing this course is first i needed to like i thought maybe i should purchase this certificate and see uh, improve my active directory knowledge which i did and the other thing is a lot of the organizations uh, when i was applying for jobs a lot of the organizations do ask for certifications so like i told them i have my own lab and i have done this like stuff build my own ad lab these are the projects that i've done they said it's all good but we need certifications so you know that checklist you need to bypass like not the checklist uh, what i'm trying to say is you want to reach the hr for reaching the hr that your resume gets noticed you need certification so it's my personal exp uh, like experience and opinion that you need certification they will definitely give you an edge when it comes to finding jobs so that's it for this video and thank you for watching